Hello, Proxy Table Gaming fans and viewers and enemies and everyone else. <laughs> I am Hyper G. I am with Lucky Sixes as ever. Howdy. How's it going? We are so excited. Yeah, man. Yeah, just come back, really, from Cardiff and uh, and such, and we can bring you all the bat reps in all its gloriness. Absolutely, yeah, because... Um, I mean, we are skipping a few of our practice battles that we, we are. had at Big in Bristol on our way to Cardiff. We, we had a great day with the, with the ninjas, didn't we? Yeah, so good. We the whole weekend actually was really good. Um, mm. We managed to have like a, a about ten of us, I think there was at Big. Yeah, um, yeah. And so yeah, that was really that was really cool. We actually we both got in two battle two pre battles. Yeah, we did. We um, did. We did. But we're 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 skipping them somewhat. Uh, we won't tell you the answers, uh, the answers, uh, the results for them. Of the practices, no. Just yet, because, because we might uh, hold them in the bank. Uh, yeah, we but, hope to go back to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was really good and really nice to see everyone, really, and some uh, people we haven't seen in a little while. And get some Definitely. much valued prep in for a tournament that we were both mm. very unprepared for. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. We hadn't had many practice styles before that. That session and um, one of my practices though was against Berman Swarms against Tony, mm. um, which has been reported on this channel. Yes, and funnily enough, uh, as per the live draw, uh, I drew Gareth Willis and his uh, Berman Swarms. Lovely, which chat. was a relatively, um, yeah, really, really nice guy. Actually. Yeah, um, I've, I've never played Gareth before, I know you had, um, but yeah, really, really sound. Uh, and uh, his list was quite similar to Tony's list, so mm. I had a little bit of practice despite. It's only been the second game against New Berman Sports. Yeah, at least you knew what they do somewhat. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Although, having said that, when we go through the list, I can't remember where the items are. <laughs> right, let's let's crack on. Um, so, we've got our normal uh, deployment and um, objective screen, which does say, weirdly, Horns of the Buffalo. Horns of the Buffalo. A unique deployment for Cardiff. So, nice yes. one, Rob, with introducing these to us. And secure target with a little... Little star Asterisk. next to it. Yes. Uh, yes. Because uh, this is, we've already been through this kind of in the uh, reveal of these deployment and objective mm. types. Yes. Uh, in the video. So we're not going to really go through these in a huge amount of detail. But you can see that the deployment map is basically how it's deployed. The person who wins the roller um, gets to choose which deployment zone they want um, and, and, and et cetera. Uh, and whoever finishes deploying first, their opponent gets to move the secure target objectives three inches for every non-deployed unit at that point. Mm. So it kind of punishes people to go down first, drop for first or or second or whatnot, uh, because then potentially the objective could be just catapulting across the table. Yeah, man. Um, both objectives, in fact. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes, really. Um, and... My list, which you have seen, um, me against Tony, um, it hasn't changed since that battle, so I won't, probably won't go through it in a huge amount of detail, um, but it is the ferals um, with the feral characters, the uh, Goblin Witch Doctor on Witchcraft on a chariot, um, Scuttler, the, the Scuttler, oh, did, I, did I decide on that name? No, I did no. go back and actually have a look, and one of the names that was suggested was Azanax, but I don't remember if that was the Scuttler Spider guy or not. Mm. So, yeah, if you made that original suggestion of Azanax, I think it's somebody called Duncan, okay. um, then let us know. Was it for the Scuttler Spider guy or was it for a different character? Because either way, I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, big block of ferals, four units of scoring cavalry, uh, which is always a nightmare for my opponents to remember what does who does what. Mm. Uh, the Nashers, two wrecking teams, two units of common raiders, and a bench club. And it's a list I've been enjoying. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And um, obviously not giving away the results of the two practice games in Bristol, but I was still enjoying it going to round one. Mm. Whether that means I lost horribly or won, yeah, uh, some good, some it. good opponents, the old Bristol boys. Absolutely. So moving into Gareth's vermin list, and uh, I mean, wow, obviously so many models. <laughs> you thought just, you thought the orcs and yeah. goblins had lots of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> two swarm priests, uh, one with thaumaturgy, one with witchcraft. Uh, one had the Book of Arcane, so a little boost to the Wrath of God, potentially. Mm. Uh, because of the whole Holy Triumphant Elysian Pantheon, they can choose 
adepts can choose any of the one to six spells. Yeah, that's. Which is, eesh, the, I mean, I can't. The the yeah. idea that they can take the book of Mark and mastery with that is a bit. And mm. get wrath of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, um, but then I, I, I for years have played Saurians with the Sun Tablet, which obviously isn't around anymore. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. But yeah, so there you go. Um, I don't know what Tome of the Rat King is. I probably should remember. Maybe it didn't come up. Um, Vermin Senator General with the Redentian Bullets on a pistol. Very cool. Uh, Cowl of the Apostate just means he counts the third uh, Calesian Pantheon person, which basically triggers that ability. Mm. Uh, the House Prefect with the Map of the Deeps and the Stygian Overseer. That's the one that allows you to blow up tunnel markers and to move them. Although I would say this list is less about blowing up tunnel markers and using them as minefields and more about using them as tunnels, right. as we will see. So actual tunnels. Actual tunnels, yeah. yeah. Uh, three Duskblade Assassins with my character that petrified of. Uh, mm. Tony, unfortunately, possibly misplayed his in my practice game. I didn't expect Gareth to do the same because yeah. Gareth knows his vermin. So I'm very worried for Shaga and boys. Uh, two lots of vermin legionaries, cool. shield and spear, um, eagle standards, both of them. The Dustblade Assassins can pop up in either of those units. Yeah. Uh, two units of slaves, which gives them an extra two tunneling markers. That's essentially all they do. Although when they die, they could potentially come up through the tunnels as new units of legionaries. Mm which is quite scary. Yeah, so basically, so. if you are going to kill them, expect them to come back, Yeah, basically. Uh, the Mamilla Brutes, they're, they're non-shooty ones, so how about a shield? And they've got the Bell of the Deep Road, so they can come up through a tunnel, which is really cool. Uh, Black Fire Veterans, they're the special ones because they're for Praetorians. Um, I don't know whether that's the great weapon. Or yeah, the I, ones, yeah but... I think they're a great weapon. I think so too. They've got an Eagle Standard as well, so four Eagle Standards on the board. Mm. Uh, three units of Shadow First Stalkers, and they can re-roll their entry on ambush via a tunnel. So they're pretty much coming up when you want them, which is really cool. Uh, one of the things Gareth used really well, actually, was when he rolled for ambush and failed the ambush roll, he actually thought about whether or not to re-roll it. Sure, yeah. Depending on what stage of the battle it was at. Cool. So he was really using his ambush to good effect. Yeah. He didn't bring them up. Like, he didn't use the re-roll if it wasn't the right time for them, sure. for example. So that was really cool. Uh, spoilers. Uh, mm. A legionary drill team, that's just a, a war platform, goes in one of the units. Uh, two Doom Spark devices mm -hmm. and 40 Ignifier Grenadiers and yeah, Spider man. Beware, because that's strength six, as we all know. Yes, so we'll see how we go. Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's go, shall we? Um, I won the roll off for determining whether I'd choose big center or sides. Uh, I immediately went with sides. Um, a lot of my reasoning for choosing that was in the practice battle that I'd had at, at Bristol, mm. I practiced this deployment and chosen sides on that on that example, uh, which hopefully we'll report on in the future. Um, but immediately after I'd chosen sides, we were deployed. Tony shouted over and said, "What are you doing? Giving the vermin player the centre? This is your <laughs> great opportunity to split up the eagle standards." And he literally ridiculed me from across the table <laughs> about why I'd given Gareth the, the big centre. Yeah, and I mean, I could see his point, but because there was so much that was starting in tunnels, he's got like five units starting in yeah, tunnels. Off the mad, board. Isn't it? Yeah, that's mad, not it? It wasn't actually that many models to squeeze into that mm. those two corners. Yeah. And funnily enough, when Tony said it, and I, I said to Gareth, what would you have done if I had given you the sides? Gareth said, well, I've practiced. I can fit my one, this entire army yeah, into in one, one corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wouldn't have actually had to split them. So uh, maybe I should have done, maybe I didn't. But I didn't. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at what I got. So my idea behind sides was I've got four units that are immune to psychology, as good as. Sure. So they don't need general. So basically yeah. I've got the wrecking team, which is just go forward and blow itself up. A unit of feral orcs, which I think is the one of the Ed Basher units. So they are immune to panic, fearless. They don't need a general's leadership, really. Uh, uh, the core unit of ferals, again, same thing. And the wrecking team on the left side. That's all I've got on mm -hmm. the left flank. Um, I'll, I'll go to my other side and then we'll do Gareth's. So, on my other side, I've got pretty much everything else. Uh, so, <laughs> unit of spiders, you know, Nasha herd. Uh, there's the there's the Ed Basher common orcs behind the Nashers, Scuttler, uh, the spider just behind the hill or on the hill floor. Uh, the ferals are on the hill, they were my last drop, and I left a gap on both sides so Gareth never really knew where they were going to be. Yeah, um, which I, I think was, was cool. 
Um, there's chariots hiding behind because these guys got doom sparks, which probably will obliterate my chariots if they get close. Uh, raiders, uh, gargantulas just sit behind the raiders. I'm planning on sending the raiders forward fairly quickly. And then a unit of Ed Basher ferals on the flank. With the As assassins from the Vernon mm. Swarms, can you put them all down in one unit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the start of any player's turn, or whether it's your opponent's turn or yeah, yours. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so going to Gareth, uh, top left, we have got a unit of Vermin Legionaries with a, the drill team mm -hmm. in it. Uh, moving towards the camera, we've got a unit of slaves. That's the red and yellowy ones. Um, behind them is the Bloodfur um, Praetorians. Uh, two Doom Sparks, kind of leading the point of the center. Uh, then the black, blacky, ready ones are another unit of legionaries. All his characters are pretty much in the Bloodfurs, by the way. Mm, uh, yeah. Then he's got slaves facing off directly off to the ferals, and right at the back, he's got equal fires. So he actually deployed similar with the Fires away from right at the back. Mm, okay. Um, similar, similar to Tony. He was, sure. You know, showing respect for the pyro. Yeah, yeah. Had, yeah, um, definitely. Which, which makes sense because they're the they're the prime target for pyro. So. Uh, cool. So uh, we can see some markers on the board here. Towards where Gareth's um, tape measure is actually an objective. I'd put one up there. Okay. Um, no, I didn't really. I. In hindsight, I wish I'd put it a bit more central because sure. I really couldn't go for that objective. Yeah. And actually, that was my plan, was to move, to make Gareth put one of his scoring units in that corner and never go for it myself. Um, that was the hope. I was mm. hoping to take out one of Gareth's scoring units so that he had to use a unit to claim that and never get any of my models over there. Okay. Um We'll see how it turns out. The, the, sometimes <laughs> the issue with that, though, is which I think you've already sort of said, is that you you at best now you're drawing the objective. Yeah, true. At exactly. absolute best. Well, unless you can win the one and he doesn't claim the other one, but yeah. yeah but if he puts one over there, exactly, and you don't go for it, yeah, yeah, best yeah. scenario is drawing. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, and because I had two units extra to deploy after he'd finished deploying, I actually moved them six inches. And once I'd realized what I'd kind of done with my deployment and mm. making that one impossible, I actually moved that six, six inches nearer to the corner. Sure, yeah. That one up there. Yeah. The one which is, so you've got four sort of yellow gems and then one yellow coin in the middle area. Mm. Uh, the yellow coin actually moved six inches nearer to my barrels. Yeah. So the coin um, is actually middle of them. Yes, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Cool. So um, Gareth got first turn, and he moved his slaves forward because he he finished deploying first by two models and took first turn. Um, yeah, sure. Literally trade off until that point. Uh, moved his slaves forward as a very much sacrifice. He intends on getting them killed so that he can bring them back through the tunnel later as legionaries, which is fine. Uh, and yeah, the Doom Sparks basically get into within twelve inches of both my unit of feral riders, which is. Scary. Yeah, man. Um, and sure enough, this unit gets completely obliterated. Um, All gone. The Doom Spark. All gone. Ugh. All of them. Every single one of them. And my idea with my left flank was to keep my few units over there as live as long as possible. Yeah, to sure. Try and give him something to deal with. So for him to turn one, move up a Doom Spark, and literally obliterate them in one shot was a bit disappointing. Yeah, sure. But hey, if you're going to roll D6, D6, and you roll too high numbers, it's going to happen. So, mm. yeah, never mind. Uh, the other Doom Spark uh, actually killed two of this one, of the other unit. And then into my turn, my wrecking team went mental. <laughs> Both of them, in fact. You can see the other one on the far left. Yeah, man. Um, the one on the far left um, rolled, I think it was 17. Um, and literally only just missed the Legionary. Oh, man. And then out to move. An inch backwards. If they get a triple, do they die? No, they take D3 wounds. Oh, okay. And they've got three wounds. So, you know, it's risky. They could three die, chance yeah, you'll blow, blow up. Yeah. Sure. But this one in the middle also rolled high and literally went through a Doom Spark and got revenge. Yeah, oh, very nice. Not not for the unit that died, but for the other one. And so, mm. yeah, so now I've got a, a wrecking team right in the middle of play, which is really cool. Obviously, I won't choose his direction going forward, but. 
he's there. And that's he's, uh, yeah. first, first blood to me, which is Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Well, no, not, not really. He got the feral unit, but yeah, anyway. Uh, this is my turn movement. I do not take the bait with the slaves. Um, I literally just move on to the top of the hill to get pyro range onto onto his doom spark. Actually, I wanted to reduce its effectiveness a bit. Yeah. Um, I wanted and I wanted the blaze to try and get the doom spark really. Um, so I got within twenty four inches of that with my shaman who's on the bottom left of my ferals. Uh, Scuzzler um, moves up to uh, block the legionaries unit a little bit, um, but I didn't really know. That wasn't kind of like a... Well, what I was trying to do is for him to charge the spider and yeah. then I flee and then I charge my ferals into his legionaries. Yeah. Um, but I am very aware that if I pull that move, Gareth can put his assassins in that unit of legionaries and then Shagger's dead. Yeah. If I charge him. Because yeah. there is no doubt about that. Three assassins would kill Shagger before he struck. You might get a spider in the flank, though. Yeah, it depends, yeah, what, it depends what the slaves yeah. do. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I'm very scared of assassins because I'm yeah, man. a general straight away. Yeah, you know, and it's just insane. You know, they're only uh, what was it 375 points for three? So, I mean, technically, that's probably not that much lower than Shagger's cost, actually. But still, <laughs> it's the general. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so a bit of shuffling elsewhere. I've moved up one cavalry unit. It's out of range of the Ignifiers on the far right. Um, so we can't shoot them, which is good. Mm -hmm. And I've moved my raiders out of line of sight of the slaves. So I actually think if I charge the raiders, the goblin raiders, into the flank of the slaves, I might actually be able to keep him there and grind him all game <laughs> without killing yeah, the slaves. They're only slaves. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. So yeah. Well, we'll see. And the guy actually just moves up a little bit to the threat as well. Uh, this is all that Blaze and Pyro achieves, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, Does he count up or wound. down? He's counting down. Count so down. it takes one wound. Yeah. Um, a bit disappointing, but hey. Uh, and then over to Gareth's turn. He rolls Ambush, because it's his turn two, and brings up the Mamillo Brutes Oof. and one unit of Shadow First Orcas. That's and, um, brutal. Mm -hmm, you could say you did say in fact yes uh, so those those boar boys that are supposed to be distracting him for as long as possible yeah possibly not very long yeah. unfortunately <laughs> uh, and really no hope of getting that effective in the top left because both my scoring units are dead instantly so, yeah sure bit of a shame um, so there we have that uh, he marches um, quite moves quite freely onto this guy with yeah, his yeah. legionaries unit Rats, man, strength in numbers. They don't care. They'll yeah, take yeah. they'll take three d six hits. I think he killed the like he killed he killed six of them. Yeah, um, which isn't terrible. It's not brilliant considering you meant to get three d six strength six shots. Sure. Um, you know, it should have killed maybe nine, but yeah, whether it's six or nine doesn't. Yeah, matter. even then, so, even if you kill yeah eighteen, they're exactly. all right. I mean, they're yeah. min they're minimized general discipline test on the eagle standard, so you're not going to make them panic. So. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one wrecking team down. Then he does a little uh, shenanigan move. Shenanigans. Um, slaves do exactly the same to blow up the other one. And um, why not? That's what slaves are for, right? Yeah. So, you know, can't argue with that at all. Uh, his movement, the rest of his movement was as so. The slaves still baiting the ferals to charge them on the right. Um, everything else didn't move that much, actually, by the looks of it. Is his uh, legionaries unit? I think maybe have barricaded the obstacle. Mm. Not sure, but um, yeah, he's, he's moved to Doom Spark to be within range of the Nashers or the Feral unit. Yeah, so. man. This was a Wrath of God. Oh, um, obviously, Ooh. don't fail to forget it's plus two on that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, sure. I said, I said to Gareth. That's quite bold, rolling three dice for the Wrath of God, because you need an 11. But then with Arcane, maybe you need only needing a nine, and you get to re-roll your ones. Yeah, maybe. maybe it's okay with three dice. Yeah. But either way, that's a very good three dice. Well, I couldn't dispel that. So. Yeah, you'd need three dice, to be fair. Mm. But... Because yeah. if wrong. he... even Because if he gets triple six, it goes down to triple fives, back up to triple sixes, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, because of Thor Mateji's plus one. So yeah, sure, yeah. Unless he's got one specific card, he he still technically lives with three yeah, yeah. three dice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth the risk, I guess. Yeah, man. Cool. So I have a wrath in my midst. Yeah, good. Um, also, um, he manages to power through Trial of Faith and does three wounds to the Gangantula, oh, wow. which is gutting. So yeah. a good magic phase. Um, and that starts the Gangantula bleeding. Yeah. Uh, and then I do this. Um, round two. Round, turn two. So my ferals use the Relentless Banner to march past the slaves. Yep. Yeah. And basically go and stand in front of his legionary unit. Legionnaire's unit. Mm. Uh, Scuzzler blocks the slaves from basically moving much because they'll have to now swift reform in order to get back into a decent formation. Yeah. Um, Scuzzler took one wound from Rodentium pistols, by the way, uh, which was actually really lucky. He should have taken more. Died, okay. But um, yeah, survives for another turn of chuffing. Uh, I moved my Nashers. Oh, no, 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 this is what I did. So on the left, you can see his Doomspark is all the way over there. Um, I declared a charge with my Nashers um, on the Doomspark. Um, I think I used the... I might have even declared the War Cry. Um, not sure whether I did or not. But Gareth didn't like the idea of... Um, I think it would have been... What would it have been? Is it 50 wide? So it would have been... 12 Nasher attacks on his Doomsmark yeah, at yeah. strength 5. So wounding on 4s, that does 6 wounds if I hit it with a decent amount. You should go through it, yeah. Um, I think I was hitting on 3s maybe, because they're offensive skill 4. Yeah. So yeah, Gareth didn't fancy that, and he fled the Doomspark, which I was delighted with. It also panicked the Legionaries on that side, so they're now facing towards the left, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And if he fails a, if he fails a rally test, it's, now he's out of General's discipline. Yeah, come on. He will actually points. run off the board because he'd go through his brutes all yeah. the way through. Um, so I would love that to happen, obviously. But it is quite unlucky, failing a minimised panic test. Yeah, is that leadership eight, is he? Nine? Uh, think, eight, nine? I think you're seven from a general because okay. of the eagle being so powerful that yeah. their discipline doesn't start as high. But, yeah. So yeah, my ferals are now stood in front of uh, the legionaries. Uh, spider moves up ever so slightly. I'm still going, chapping with my raiders, and I move my boars onto the hill so that they can charge the, the slaves and help out mm -hmm. later on. Uh, the witchcraft chariots just chilling where they are, and I'm still keeping out of the ignifier's range. If he wants to move up and, and lob grenades at my goblin raiders, then so be it. I'll charge him with my boars. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And then what I did in magic. Oh, no, not yet. Wait for it. Be patient. Oh, that's just a picture of the mm -hmm. panicking, etc. And where I've moved my boards to. So that the, the mamillos and the stalkers just have to chase my boards in the bottom of the corner. Yeah, sure. Keep my alive as long as possible and make him go out of position. Then what I did in magic was I raven's wings. Ah, no. Nice. Because originally I thought to myself, well, if he does pop the assassins out in the legionary unit and charge them into my ferals, Shagger would be dead. And although I think my ferals do a decent job on the legionaries on their own, I don't know about that Praetorian unit also coming in. Mm, yeah. And between them, they would potentially, they would both be agility. Well, I suppose the Praetorians would be great weapons, actually. Uh, but they'd all probably be attacking before my agility four. So I decided to Raven's Wing out of there. And basically, I decided to just go rampaging on his left flank yeah. with my ferals and see, and see if I could just kill as much as possible. Um, but it was a change to my game plan. My game plan was, bless you, my game plan was don't engage on under any circumstances. And I've now abandoned it because I've gone gung ho and I've literally decided to go running. I think it was because his unit of legionaries fleeing on the left meant mm. that his assassins couldn't be triggered next turn for any other stuff over there. Because his assassins can't go in slaves, they can't go in stalkers, they can't go in Miller brutes. So I was basically targeting everything that couldn't have assassins in. Yeah. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, Wrath of God comes down. Ouch. Very decent dead pile. 
So yeah, all man. my little units, basically. I lose a few ferals, three of my four common bulls, despite having a two-up armor save. Yeah. Um, well, they go to four, actually, there, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have even forgot that they were the, the common orc unit because my piece of paper was under the models. So <laughs> I might not have even given them an armor save, which is silly of me. A lot of the spiders die, but there's still one left, so technically that's no loss there. He passed a panic test. Yeah, that's just wrath of God for you, isn't it? When you can't get away from it. When it comes down. Yeah. It does nothing uh, or lots. It's yeah. Never in between. And then into Gareth's turn three. This was an unfortunate one, really. Um, because my Nashers charged the Doom Spark, um, it meant that he could see them with his Legionaries, and yeah. he made a very decent charge into them. I'm fearless, I couldn't play it. I yeah. would have done if I had the chance. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, now that means that if my alts do falter on their little rampage, I've now got, you know, legionaries where the assassins can appear directly behind them, which is yeah. not ideal at all. Yeah, I think Gareth needed like a nine or a 10 to charge the Nashers. Sure. I was just really hoping he wouldn't make it. Yeah, but I suppose it, that... it. You know, it wasn't like I'd placed my Nashers there as a mistake. I've yeah. done it to play the Doom Spark. So. I suppose at that yeah. point, with his legionaries facing that way, there's it's no. Uh, risk is it mm, exactly? Yeah, there's nothing that can threaten them, so yeah. I'm already thinking, uh, have I gone a bit too crazy with my Raven's Wing there? Did I need to do that? Would I have been better off just standing there and waiting for him to charge me? Sure, yeah, maybe I'm just buffing up my ferals instead of Raven's Wing, perhaps. Uh, and he also charges the Mamillos into the ferals, and that was a decent charge, too. So he just got every charge he needed there. Yeah. Uh, and he also rallied both the Doom Spark and the Legionaries, so I didn't get any points for them either. Because um, if the Legionaries had uh, failed their rally test, then they'd have gone through the Mamillos off the board. So yeah. That's a shame. But, hey. There we go. And his Shadow First Stalkers have moved to chaff my barrels as well. So, not going to get many points straight away. Another Shadow First Stalkers uh, jumps up through the tunnel onto the back of the hill behind my balls as well. Out of line of sight of the chariots. Nice. So yeah. I'm feeling a bit I'm feeling a bit bullied all of a sudden. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a bit everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, they've come up through these tunnels and I, I, I'm, I'm a bit ugh, I'm just everywhere. Uh over here he gets Wrath of God off. <laughs> With that run, that dice roll now. That's another three dice spectacular. Blimey. Um, yeah, that's that's gutting. Um yeah, couldn't stop that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, um, I, I think I was probably stopping the other spell he cast or something, but ideally, that's that stopping Wrath of God is a big priority when you've got a lot of. Uh, it's units. too good a roll. It's too good, too a, good roll. a roll. Yeah, you, you can't guarantee dispelling that even on five dice. So. Yeah. Especially with the plus two from the Arcane book. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah. Uh, he does another wound to the spider. I think the previous picture showed the wound on the spider, but he gets one off. Yeah. It might have been another trial of faith. I'm not sure. But also, my goblin raiders are dead. I'm not really sure why. Oh. Um, maybe ignifiers come up. Yeah. I think something they might have done. And they've got they're still so far away from the balls that it's mm. not a guaranteed charge. So that was perhaps a little silly getting that close. But yeah, uh, Scuzzler goes down to the pistol shots. Of course, the Redentium bullets. Yeah, fair enough. He was living a charm life, so and he reforms his uh, slaves, which you would expect. This was interesting in that the legionaries only killed one Nasha. Ooh. And I held. Oh <laughs> but, wow, nice. I, mean, I think I I think I actually drew combat. Uh, but is it nice? Because what it actually means is oh, that yeah. he gets to then fight in my turn and charge yeah, in his. Sure. So actually I was a bit like, ah. Oh, I would have absolutely accepted losing the Nashers and the Spider behind with yeah. an overrun just to keep the Legionaries busy. Sure, yeah, this yeah. scenario means he can kill me in my turn and then charge in his. Oh, so, brutal. Yeah, it was a real, like, you know, <laughs> catch 22 scenario. Yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is the state of play going into my turn three. I think it was my turn three we're on now, yeah. Charge. Yeah, I think it is. I charged with the ferals into the stalkers, um, obviously, because they were chaffing, and I didn't see any reason not to, really. I had to get some points on the board. Um, the red spider goes around the back, 
um, to try and chuff the mamillos later on. And then in regards to the legionaries still fighting the Nashers, what I did was I declared a charge with my two common orc boar boys into the slaves. Not because I thought that they would win over the course of the battle, but to get them out of the way of the chariots charging into the flank mm. of the legionaries. Because even if the Nashers do go down in the second turn of combat, 3d6 plus 3 strength 5 impact is on legionaries does more than enough to make them auto-break, yeah. I think. Well, it would be steadfast. Uh, yes, true. Indeed, yeah. But, yeah. but on, on their own discipline, um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but it does enough to stop the legionaries from charging the rear of my barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it that way. Uh, however, uh, Gareth does the right play and flees with his slaves. Yeah. That, that's be fine. I work out that my feral boar boys, the two of them, need to roll at least one three in order to get out of the way of the chariots. Oh, no. Two, one, one. Oh. They fail the charge, move two inches forward, get in the way of the chariots. The chariots roll a triple six on their charge, oh, obviously. Get in, get in, man. And they just can't get through. Yeah. There's no, there's no gap there. There's no gap. Get so it. that plan is completely out the window, and now my chariots are in a lot of trouble. Though. Yeah, man. Because I literally scary. moved like two or three inches. Uh, you will notice that the Gigantula is no longer in the picture. Yeah. That's because he's run away. Um, oh. yeah, I've, I've got I've taken five wounds and he's got Trial of Faith, Breath of God right there. I mean, sure. you can see on the board. So he hasn't always, technically run away. He's just chosen to run away. He's chosen to run away. Yeah. yeah. So so I only need to take two wounds for the heart points. And the way it's going, he will take those two wounds before I can achieve anything. Yeah. Him. Uh, Wrath of God comes down. Surprisingly, only one ball boy dies this song. Yeah, uh, sure. I, I was at, I actually wanted them to die. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're bad charge, but hey, uh, I lose uh, two of the chariots. Yeah, die. I know. Yeah. Um, so, and that was Gobbo, the wizard, dies mm. um, amongst those. So they don't panic, though, weirdly. <laughs> Either of them. They love it. Um, yeah, so Rapidook comes down there. Uh, I think that's probably all there is to show in that picture. Uh, over here, is there any more? Oh yeah, um, oh yes, that's right. The oh no, maybe I do panic with the chariot. Maybe the chariot does panic. It's gone off to the sure behind the building. Yeah, took it's a, your, a still your two. turn. Yeah, yeah, it took a wound or two going through the building. You can see Gargantula is just hiding over there now, mm. possibly depending on where we are. Yeah, behind us. He's behind. He's behind, behind, behind there. Yeah, like, taking five out of eight wounds. So. Yeah, uh, and uh, this picture also shows in the bottom left. Ashes have now died, and the legionaries are quite happily able to reform. Chariot's not even a threat in their rear. Oh it? my goodness. Because of Wrath of God. There's a lot of rats, rats still on the table. Oh man, tell me about it. Tell me about it. And some rats haven't even come onto the table yet. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, over here, into his turn four, he charges the legionaries only into my flank and my ferals. I, after killing the, the, the stalkers, I literally had. The, ignore that stalker unit on the left because they've only just come up. But I had legionaries, Mamilla brutes, yeah. slaves, Praetorians, and legionaries on every side. Five did uh, all within charge range? Did he put and the did he put the assassins in there? No, he not did yet. not. Mm. He did not. But he is attacking my flank. Yeah, um, and that is a flank. That I believe Shagger was on that flank, so that's useful. Okay, in, in that regard. Yeah, you should. Um, but yes, he's only he failed the charge with the Mamelukes, by the way. He actually charged both flanks. Ah, uh, right, failed. sure. So yeah. one thing went my way. Yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah. You can do way. this. You can do this. Uh, can I, though? Ah. So this is wheel turns, which I save all my dice for. So white dice are Gareth's dice. And uh, mine are the green dice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that... That won't do it. No, not even close. You need to actually. roll better. Yes, not even close to the spelling wheel turns. And it means his legionaries in the flank of my ferals are now hitting on fours, wounding on fours, which yeah, isn't man. much different to what they were doing anyway. In fact, I think that's probably what they were doing anyway. Uh, maybe even they were wounding on fives, actually. Uh, now they're wounding on fours. And I, of course, yeah, I was wounding on anything yeah. better than that. So. Uh, all my dice to the spell that I have to. Yeah, you can't do now. much. More, yeah. Can't do much with that. And this is actually the last picture. 
not because I sulked, <laughs> literally because I forgot, <laughs> but I, I suppose I could be forgiven for sulking. Um, his shadow first stalkers at the bottom right, they kill the boar. Yeah. Um, he's got units to spare going on here. But needless to say, with wheel turns, Shagger does his best on the right flank because he isn't affected by wheel turns, which is good to know. I didn't actually realize Oh, it's only rank and file. Until Garen said yeah. only rank and file, which is really cool. So Shagger kills like four or five or whatever. Um, but the the static res charge three ranks. Um, breaking steadfast, a standard legion banners in there. Mm. Uh, he killed a few. Ferals did nothing. Only had like three attacks with ferals. Mm. He e yeah. won, and um, I wasn't steadfast because he broke from that, of course. Um, and I I broke. Um, I don't think it was auto uh, because Shagger sure. did a fair few back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but rerollable, I didn't. I didn't roll high enough to stick around. I actually think I rolled like two 11s or something silly. Yeah. It wasn't even close. It wasn't one of those things where you say, oh, I rolled a four and I needed a three. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, sure. it wasn't like that. I literally, the, the ferals had opened up. Um, oh, man. I don't think I have a lot left on the board other than that to talk about in this last picture because everything has been yeah. pretty much stalkered off or whatever. Vermins, mate. Vermins. Vermins. He got me. He got me. Hand the up brutal. Me. And so it was a 20 nil. You might be wondering... 740 points. How did I get that? Well, Gareth, bless him, he forgot to bring his assassins up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to bring them up. Uh, yeah, on sure. One to four, or you lose their points. Yeah. They literally aren't allowed to come up turn five and six onwards. Okay. And we, that charge, that um, or that last picture, occurred on his turn four. Yeah. We played my turn four. Um, whether I was sneakily not mentioning his assassins at the start of my turn. Hey, it's up to him. That's up to Maybe. him. Maybe. Um, yeah. You knowing me, you probably know I was keeping quiet. Um, but it didn't change 20 mil. So, sure. you know. Brutal. Yeah. Absolutely brutal. Gareth played it really well. Yeah. Um, he didn't miss a trick. Absolutely. He's a good player. He's a good player, man. And um, obviously, he got a couple of charges that, that meant he could exploit some situations. He got two rapid gods that were unstoppable. Yeah. The Doom Spike did a lot with the early scoring. He played very well to get rid of the Reckon teams. I just got to offer my hand and say, well played to Gareth on that one. Yeah. Um, I genuinely think that this was a mistake in hindsight. Like Raven's win. I did, if I just... No, well, Raven's win, yes. That was a mistake. Mm. But I actually think doing this entirely, if I just sit my ferals on the hill... He hasn't actually got a lot on the right side of the board. Sure. I, I don't yeah. think he can actually take my ferals off. I might lose the objective almost certainly because he's got enough scoring units to come around and get that objective. Yeah. But I actually think if I just stand there and don't engage him, I think I'd come away with seven points. Maybe sure, six try, trying worst. to do a bit too much then. Yeah, I think I should have just seen that the objective wasn't in my favour with this one mm. and just said, I'll take six points, thanks. Yeah. Um, and my error was to, to go for it. I saw a slot to use my Relentless and Raven's Wing, mm. and, and I went for it, and it went catastroph catastrophically wrong. Sure. Um, but hey, enjoyable game, and, and like I say, well played, Karen. So, a uh, disastrous start to my Orphan Goblin. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Cardiff tournament, but uh, it's my first 20 nil with them. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've lost 20 nil with them, so that was disappointing. First big loss, I um, think, isn't it? Like normally, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah, not yeah. getting too many big yeah. losses. No, my worst loss with them at uh, Art War was seven points. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Vermins, yeah. mate. Vermins. Mm, mm, tough. Yeah. And definitely, I played very differently to how I did against Tony. So maybe that was my fault as well. Sure, yeah. And I won that one, 12 8. So anyway, great, great fun. Well done, Gareth. Yeah, he's always good. Always good value. So, um, and I, I, in a way, I feel like I taught him to remember his assassins. <laughs> Helped him out for the rest of the time. You're tourney. welcome, Gareth. You're welcome. Yeah, right. Whether he did or not, maybe you'll put it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> did you remember your assassins? Anyway, there you go. That's me for round one. I am still on the same amount of points as I start the tournament. I wonder if you can do any better. Sub submarine. Yeah, absolutely. I wish I'd tried it. <laughs> cool. So like, share, subscribe. Let me know any comments, whether you think I should have chosen the big centre or etc. Um, let us know whether you think I was right to go for it or whether I should have just stayed on the hill and gone home with six points. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to see what people think.
Yeah, and if you liked the new objective as well, we've got another one obviously mm. with myself against Tommy. Mm. Uh, Tommy. But uh, but yeah, whether you uh, like the objective or uh, or dislike it, let us know. Yeah, yeah, I was fine with it. I didn't mm. mind. Maybe I maybe I misplayed it, but I still enjoyed it. So. Well, I'll let you know after our next game. Mm, good man. Mm. Cool. We'll look forward to that. Let's roll. Yes, man. Straight round into two. yeah. Bringing on Tommy. Round one. Still round one. See you later.